Verdik deyin siz bana. Merhabalar sevgili öğrenciler. Sabancı Üniversitesi'ne hoş geldiniz. Şimdi sizlerle beraber üniversitemizi eğitim modelini farklı ve eşsiz kılan temel geliştirme programı üzerine e, yaklaşık 50 dakika kadar konuşuyor olacağız. E, bu konuşmayı İngilizce yapacağız. E, bunun bir nedeni var. Birkaç nedeni var aslında. Evvela e, bu oturuma katılan öğrenci grubumuz e, yazın kayıtlardan sonra yapılan Diler Sınavı Diler Okulu'nun özür dilerim İngilizce sınavından başarıyla geçmiş öğrencilerden oluşuyor. Yani sizler bir hafta sonra e, bizleri derslerimizde eğitim dili olan İngilizce, akademik İngilizce kullanırken dinliyor olacaksınız. Dolayısıyla bu bir ısınma turu olacak diyelim. E, hem de terminoloji yani birinci sınıf derslerini ve sistemimizi anlatırken kullandığımız terminolojiyi e, eğitimden sonra rektör yardımcımız Cem Güner'e sabahki seanslarda Türkçe olarak size ifade etti. İngilizcesini duymanız da işe yarayacak. Çünkü bu sistemi anlamanız ve işlerleştirmeniz gerekiyor başarılı olabilmeniz için. Bir diğer sebep de şu. E, biliyorsunuz e, gurur duyduğumuz bir yanımız daha var üniversite olarak. Uluslararası öğrencilerimiz var. Ve uluslararası öğrencilerimizin kayıtları ne yazık ki küresel salgın yüzünden bir miktar gecikse de bu sunumlardan onlar da faydalanıyor olacaklar. Ve bu sunumları canlı yayınlamanın ötesinde kayıt da ediyor olacağız. Dolayısıyla sunumumun dili e, İngilizce olacak. E, sunumu e, arkadaşlardan rica ediyorum ekrana alalım yavaştan sizin de görebileceğiniz şekilde. E, so, welcome to Sabancı University dear students. Uh, my name is Emre Erol. I'm the director of Foundations Development Program. And the Foundations Development Program is the topic of today's short 50 minute introduction to you. Um, Sabancı University has a unique educational system especially when you consider higher education institutions in Turkey. And its unique model is inspired by certain educational traditions that exist outside Turkey as well. And today I will try to introduce you our system, a short history of the system. And then I will also try to introduce you some practicalities. What courses do we have as common courses? Um, how are we going to introduce them to you this fall since we are passing through this uh, digital reality as the title of the first uh, slide suggests. So for 50 minutes we'll be talking about that. Um, in my first slide as you can see it says welcome to uh, Sabancı University, welcome to digital freshmen and on the bottom corner uh, there's a photograph of a certain series of packages. Um, first of all, there's a um, question there. It says, did you get your package? As the Foundations Development Program this year, we got together with our instructors, professors, and the staff at Foundations Development Program, and we decided to prepare a unique package for you. We haven't done this before in the history of our university. This is the first year that we're doing it. Um, on the package, it says, welcome to the freshman year. It doesn't say welcome to freshman year. It doesn't say welcome to a freshman year. It says the freshman year because this year is unique. And you and I know why it is unique because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We needed to switch to a fully digital semester. And when we decided on doing that as a nation, it's a nationwide decision as you know, and when we adopted it as a university, one of our concerns as instructors, professors, TAs, staff was our connections with you. Once upon a time, I was also a freshman and the freshman year was the most wonderful year of my university life. I know it's a great experience to be on the campus, to meet people and to have this connection with the campus environment. So we asked ourselves, since we won't be able to do it this fall because of the restrictions imposed onto us by the pandemic, what could we do? We said, why don't we prepare a nice little package for our students, which would have personalized letters addressing you, because we want to meet you, some videos introducing ourselves to you, and some little items uh, that will make uh, your life a little bit, just a little bit easier when you're following us on, uh, on Zoom, on you know, our online platforms, our educational software, and so on and so forth. And we have some funny uh, also uh, items in it, which ho will hopefully help us establish a connection with you 
throughout the 14 weeks. And this package is a starting point for us, for us who work for our common courses under the coordination of the Foundation's Development Program. So I hope you get your package because we've just sent the packages last Friday when we have the whole student list. Um, I hope it helps you just a little bit to motivate in this hard times. All right, let's move forward with our presentation. We're gonna talk about unique Sabanca system, Foundations Development Program, or in Turkish, Temel Geliştirme Program. What is it all about? Where does it come from? Why it is a good idea? And how can you be successful in a structure like that? Let's talk about that. Um, first of all, I would like to try to answer the question, the basic question, what exactly is the Foundations Development Program? What is, what is it? The simple answer is this. Foundations Development Program at Sabanji University is a common mandatory core design. Ortak zorunlu dersler design. A common mandatory course design. And it is a design which is inspired by certain higher education traditions and structures. It is a combination of liberal arts traditions in higher education and the modern core curriculum designs. Our program at Sabanji is unique. It is not a typical liberal arts design. However, it's heavily inspired by it. It has a core curriculum structure which is predominantly delivered to the students in the first year, freshman year. So your first year will predominantly be common courses, but it's not only about the freshman year as well. Once you complete the freshman year, you'll keep on proceeding to other years, sophomore, junior, senior, ikinci, üçüncü, dördüncü sınıflar. And in sophomore, junior, senior, you'll still be getting some common core courses as well. So I'll try to explain that to you. So in a bottom, in a bottom uh, if you want to explain it in a nutshell, sorry, this is basically a combination of a couple of higher education traditions, well-known, internationally well-known traditions, with the aim of creating a common mandatory course design. So it is a set of common and mandatory courses to be completed mostly before you specialize, and thereafter under you, until you graduate. In the presentation, it says one third, one third, which is it, quite substantial. One third of your entire course load is about these common courses. So let's assume that you are going to graduate with 120-ish credits, 30 something out of them, one third uh, or depending on the program slightly more, uh, will be about the core curriculum. Um, why do we do this? Why do we think it's a good idea to have this? The educational outcome, informed and free choice, widened intellectual horizons, level benchmarking, and multiple skill sets for academia and job markets are the primary reasons why we do it. Let me try to explain this again with the same keywords. Educational outcome. First of all, we think that providing you courses from different disciplines, irrespective of your future area of specialization, İleride ne yapmak istediğinizden bağımsız olarak bir temel çekirdek dersi almak. We think that is a great idea. For a set of reasons, it's a great idea. First of all, it teaches you to learn critical thinking, analytical thinking by heart because you're exposing yourself to different disciplines. You're widening your intellectual horizons. We think it brings us good educational outcome because our alumni, mezunlarımız, our alumni, our graduates, when they end up being academics, when they end up going to the job market, we get enormous positive feedback from their ability to adopt to the different changing dynamics of their marketplace, work environment, or 
the academia and its changing norms. That's because of our common foundational system, we think. Another reason why we think this is a good idea, why we do it, is free and informed choice of specialization. Özgür bir şekilde program seçmeyi mümkün kılan şey yarattığımız bu eşsiz programdır. What makes free choice possible at Sabancı University is this unique structure that we created, this unique synthesis that we have. Because all of you are introduced to certain core courses, your intellectual maturity increases and you make well-informed, better and free choice of program specialization, as Cem Hoca explained in the morning, either at the end of freshman, in the middle of sophomore, or towards the end of sophomore. Of course, there are some costs in changing your track, but because our system initially presents you a foundation, a set of common courses, it is actually quite easy to switch between faculties or programs at Sabanji University. We think this kind of a program widens your intellectual horizons. A typical conventional university might have a very strong computer science program, but it might fall short on teaching its computer scientists what's happening around the world in terms of global challenges. What is global warming? What is income disparity? Geopolitical, uh, sorry. Uh, geopolitical struggles and changes, developments in other academic fields, if a typical computer science program does not introduce these things to their students, which they don't, these students might fall short in understanding the world around them and becoming better at adopting their science to the needs of real life. At Sabanji University, we think a core curriculum is a good idea because it introduces you to the world around you. It gives you the tools to understand the world around you so that you can use your disciplinary knowledge to better adopt to the needs of the world around you. Another reason why we have this kind of a core system, core mandatory courses, foundations development program, Temel Geliştirme program in Turkish. Another reason why we have this is level benchmarking. What does that mean? Especially in Turkey, but also among our international students, we observe differences in terms of academic background and skills. Especially in Turkey, those who are graduates of Anatolian high schools, those who are graduates of certain primary uh, uh, private schools with emphasis on teaching French or with emphasis on teaching German, or American English, they have different curricula and they do not necessarily teach the exactly the same skill sets. So when students come to us, they're coming from different backgrounds. We want to give them freedom of choice, freedom of informed specialization. So in order to fulfill that, we must make sure that in the first year especially, they come to a certain level in terms of academic content knowledge, içerik bilgisi, and also in terms of skill set, beceri So we kind of benchmark our students by introducing them these common courses. Each common course that consists foundations development program, çekirdek müfredatımız oluşturan her bir ders, it not only teaches certain content, sadece bir içerik üretmek ve öğretmekle kalmıyor, at the same time it introduces you a certain basic skill set. Temel bir beceri setinde veriyor. This makes it possible to benchmark students so that they can move between different programs, initiate uh, interdisciplinary projects at an early age uh, during their undergraduate years. Finally, what we observe in the past 20 years as Sabancı University is that once our graduates go to academia or the job market and become finance experts, sales experts, uh, experts of various kinds, we see that this uh, core curriculum background helps them enormously. Why? Well, you kind of know the answer. The world is changing very quickly. Dünya çok hızlı değişiyor ve sürekli bir adaptasyon ihtiyacı doyuyor. We constantly feel the pressure of adopting. 
So much so, my generation now kind of thinks that we will not be able to do the same job our entire lives. We'll probably need to re-educate ourselves again and again in our mid-30s, in our mid-50s, until the day we can, you know, finally uh, become retired. For your generation, that kind of a pressure is much more increased. You need to be lifelong learners. Ömür boyu öğrenen ve tekrar tekrar uzmanlık alanları geliştiren kimseler olmanız gerekecek. If that's the case, if you will need to reshape your career and expertise again and again in a decade or so, you better have something like a foundations development program, something that introduces you to multiple, uh, multiple disciplines so that once you are re-educating yourself in the future, you have a strong foundation. Now, this is why we think it's a good idea. This is the definition. And you might be wondering, Emre Hocam, are we the only institution doing that in Turkey? Or is this a Sabancı only thing around the world? The answer is no. Sabancı University is the first university to introduce this unique synthesis of inspirations from liberal arts tradition and a core curriculum. However, other universities followed our tracks, if you will. Right now in uh, Turkey, universities like Koç University, Kadir Has University, Abdullah Gül University also adopt similar new methods of teaching their students some common courses. So this system is kind of a good idea. Sabancı was the first in Turkey, but it wasn't the first in the world. Actually, liberal arts tradition and core curriculum, I'll explain them a little bit more in a while. These two things existed before 1999 when Sabancı University was ready for its first cohort. And actually very well-known universities to this day adopt either liberal arts curricula or core curriculum or a combination of both in various ways. On this first slide, you see just some of the well-established universities which have systems similar to ours at Sabanj University. Harvard College, the University of Chicago, California Technical University, Caltech, Columbia College, Leiden University in Netherlands, Seoul University, um, Armhurst, King's College in London, University of Freiburg in Germany are just but some examples. Sadece birkaç örnek. Bizden önce bunu uzun yıllar yapmış iyi örnekler. And the number of institutions that either give a core curriculum or a liberal arts approach inspiration in their program, the number of these institutions are increasing around the world, especially in Asia nowadays, but in the last decade in Europe and in the United States as well. So what you decided to do, yani yapmaya karar verdiğiniz şey, son derece yaygın, uluslararası kabulü olan özel bir yüksek öğrenim geleneğinin ürünü. So the thing that you decided to be a part of at Sabancı University has a long history. We have this unique way of bringing it to life in Turkey, but it's a well-established and well-known system. Let me say a few more words about those traditions that I've been talking about. İki gelenek var diyorum, etkilendiğimiz ve Sabancı'da sentez edildiğimiz. Çekirdek müfredat, core curriculum in English, and liberal arts traditions could be translated into Turkish as özgür sanatlar. But the sanatlar part needs some explanation. So we have two inspirations, liberal arts traditions and core curriculum designs. What is liberal arts? Well, the contemporary official name for liberal arts programs in Europe and in the United States is liberal arts and sciences programs. Özgür sanatlar ve bilimler programları. However, historically speaking, this is a very old tradition Mazisi son derece eskiye giden bir eğitim geleneği. And in the past, it used to be known in short as liberal arts. And before scientific revolution, during medieval Europe, or during ancient Rome, and during ancient Greece, this tradition existed in different forms. Son derece geçmişte de farklı formlarda olan bir gelenek. And at that point in time, it was called liberal arts before the scientific revolution, because 
scientific revolution is the thing that gave us the modern definition of sciences. So when we say liberal arts, we don't just mean arts. Sadece klasik modern anlamıyla sanatı kastetmiyoruz. Eski tabiriyle özgür sanatlar, liberal arts in its old way of uh, definition, actually includes all forms of hard sciences as well. So the bottom line is, liberal arts is a model with a long history. It goes back to classical Greco-Roman times. It is basically a model that is inspired, that is designed to educate free and critical thinkers. Özgür ve eleştirel düşünebilen insanlar yetiştirmeyi merkeze koyan eski bir gelenek. Core curriculum, çekirdek müfredat. Another basic thing that we take as an inspiration at Sabancı University. It's a rather modern iteration uh, version of uh, doing liberal arts, let's say. Liberal arts tradition inspires common core curriculum. That philosophy inspires common core curriculum, but today common core curriculum does not necessarily mean liberal arts. What do I mean? One of the earliest examples of a common core curriculum comes from Columbia College in 1919. One of the basic inspirations for Sabancı University in 1999, um, Columbia College basically had this idea that they have to introduce a basic set of courses to all of their uh, college students irrespective of their field of specialization. So some elements of a liberal arts inspiration was there in the program, but it wasn't necessarily a liberal arts program. It emphasizes cultural canons and masterpieces. Belli alanların büyük eserlerini, beylik öğrenilmesi mutlaka önemli olan eserlerini temele alan bir ortak müfredat tasarlama tarzına çekirdek müfredat deniyor. It's more of a method slash structure than a standalone philosophy. Tek başına, dört başı mamur bir eğitim felsefesi ve uzun tarihi olan bir şey değil, daha yakın dönemde ortaya çıkmış bir yapı çekirdek müfredat. Özgür sanatlar, liberal arts and sciences, bu ise daha uzun tarihi olan bir şey. So, Sabancı is inspired by both of these things. Both of these traditions passed on to modern institutions and they have been reinvented over and over again. Tabii ki de bu kadar uzun geleneği olan bir şey, tarih içerisinde tek tekrar ve tekrar icat olunan, değişen, bir anlamda güncel tabirle update olan bir şey. So these traditions, especially the liberal arts, has been reinvented over and over again. In this presentation, you're seeing now an old 12th century drawing from a manuscript. Bir el yazmasından 12. yüzyıl Avrupa'sında liberal arts, ortak müfredatına dair bir tarihi belge görüyorsunuz burada. Çok enteresan. This very interesting document from 12th century shows you a set of common courses already. Arithmetics, geometry, astronomy, grammar, rhetoric, dialectic and music in the past in the 12th century were considered as basic tools and skills and content without which you can't develop free intellectual, uh, critical thinkers. Now, in the modern times, bugüne geldiğimizde ise, when we look at United States, Europe, Asia, or Sabancı University, when we look at what we put into our circle of education, kendi güncel haliyle ortak müfredatımıza ne koyuyoruz diye bakarsak, what we see is, in our contemporary circle of education, we have arts, mathematics, natural sciences, philosophy, not in Sabancı University, but in very big universities in the US and Europe with theology departments, you have religious studies and also social sciences. In Sabancı University, then we have arts, mathematics, natural sciences, things that are related to philosophy and things that are related to social science. The classical model, klasik dönemdeki model, belli şeylere vurgu yapardı, hedef olarak. Classical model used to emphasize certain things as the goal of this kind of an education. In modern times, this old emphasis is still here. Connections between disciplines. Disiplinler arası bağlar ve bir şeyi, karmaşık hayata dair bir soruyu anlamanın birçok disiplini bilmeyi gerektirdiği varsayımı. The assumption that complex questions of everyday life could only be answered by 
a basic knowledge of multiple disciplines that still exists today. It used to be there in the past. Connections between disciplines. Universality of critical thinking. Evrensel düşüncenin, özür dilerim, e, kritik eleştirel düşüncenin evrenselliği. Bu da bugün de geçmişte de olan temel bir vurgusu. We try to achieve that as well. Taking active roles in civic life or engage citizenship. Sorumlu yurttaşlık, sahip olduğun, öğrendiğin bilgiyi insanlık ve içinde bulunduğun topluluklar için faydaya çevirmek. So, converting your knowledge into some social good for humanity at large or for the societies that you live in is also another basic tenet. We have that at Sabancı too. I'm, I might be losing you. I hope not. Let's end, let's stop this small history lesson about our inspirations and let's go back to practicalities. Şimdi pratik konulara biraz geri dönelim. Çok az size söylemek istedim, anlatmak istedim bunun tarihsel geçmişini ve nasıl Sabancı Üniversitesi'nin neylerden ilham alarak bunu yaptığını. Şimdi biraz daha pratik konulara bakalım. Bizim anahtar kelimelerimiz neler? What are our keywords for this structure? Foundations Development Program, Common Course Design that we have. What are our keywords? Number one, polymath. Or, to put it in a layman's term, jack of all trades. Polymath is a keyword was very important during the age of Renaissance in Europe. It is still very important in today's worlds. Renaissance thinkers used to call it in Italian uomo universale, the universal man. Of course, for today, it doesn't matter if you're a man or woman. It is, the emphasis is having a wide spectrum, having a wide background knowledge in different disciplines, some in more specialized and expert level, some in basic level, so that you have multiple talents and ability to perceive questions from multiple angles. Sorunlara başka perspektiflerden bakmanızı sağlayacak birden fazla disiplinde bilgi, bazılarında çok yüksek uzmanlık, bazılarında temel düzeyde bilgi, yani birden fazla e, uzmanlığı tek bünyede barındırmak, polymath. That is a key word for us. We aspire for our students to become polymaths. This is honestly the case. Sometimes when we get together as old graduates, eski mezunlar olarak bir araya geldiğimizde bunu bazen hissederiz, Sabancı graduates are in a way confident. Özgüveni yüksektir Sabancı mezunlarının. This confidence comes from our educational system because we train people with the basic knowledge of different perspectives and fields And that brings with itself a certain amount of confidence. That's good. Number two keyword that we want to emphasize as a part of our common core curriculum is being a lifelong learner. Ömür boyu öğrenmeyi hedefleyen, bu nedenle de öğrenmeyi öğrenen, neyi nereden öğreneceği bilgisine, kültürüne haiz olan bireyler yetiştirmek. Training lifelong learners, creating a learning environment for lifelong learners so that they learn how to learn. They keep updating themselves, perhaps have master's degrees, other undergraduate programs, specialized trainings after they graduate for as long as they could. That's an aim for us. And when we are giving you this core curriculum, this is the reason why you're exposed to Mathematics, natural sciences, world history, ethics, algorithmic thinking, all at the same time, so that in the future, you can easily build up on that background knowledge. Gelecekte ömür boyu öğrenen insanlar olabilmeniz için, bugün bu üniversitede ortak bir müfredata maruz kalacaksınız ki, oradaki farklı alanlar, algoritmik düşünce, matematik, insanlık tarihi, Doğa bilimleri gibi o temel bilginin üzerine gelecekte hep yeni şeyler bina edebilirsiniz. Another key word for us, engage citizenship. This manifests itself in our institution as a unique course and a unique department that actually runs civic involvement projects, CIP as we call it. We have this wonderful initiative, which is not only a course, CIP course in your common core curriculum, 
It is also something larger than a course. It's an initiative to get engaged with the world around us. All Sabancı University students must complete at least one civic involvement project going out there and doing something about the society that we live in, about Turkey, about the world we live in, about humanity at large. That kind of engagement is critical in all liberal arts traditions. It is critical for us too. And we are doing quite a good job about that in Turkey because our CIP became a role model for other institutions of higher education in Turkey as well. Another keyword, self-explanatory. Kendi kendine açıklayan bir anahtar kelimemiz daha var burada. Kritik düşünce, critical thinking. It, I know you've heard about critical thinking a lot. You've heard it everywhere. But it's easier to put it in a slide than to teach people how to think critically. We're living in an age of um, counterfacts. We are living in an age of fake news, if you will. False information being spread across the internet. It becomes increasingly harder to separate fact from fiction. Kurguyla olguyu birbirinden ayırmak gittikçe zorlaşıyor içinde yaşadığımız dönemde. Therefore, sonuç olarak, therefore, if you learn the skills of understanding what any form of information is produced for, how it is produced, who is the audience, does it have the necessary academic credentials, if you develop a mental filter to understand what is fact and fiction, by exposing yourselves to different disciplines and this common design that we have, we'll be very happy and you'll be very successful. Because that is now a very important skill. Kritik düşünmek, geçmişte olduğundan belki çok daha önemli bir beceri artık. Another keyword, informed specialization. Informed specialization is enormously important as well. It is what makes Sabancı University very attractive for you probably. Bilerek daha olgun bir şekilde uzmanlık tercihini yapmak ve bunu özgür bir ortamda yapmak. Informed specialization. The assumption in Turkey is generally that when you are 12 years old, 11 years old, 13 years old, when you're in high school, you know what you want to do in life. That's the assumption in Turkey. We know that's not a great assumption. Bu varsayım pek iyi bir varsayım değil. 10 yaşında, 13 yaşında ne yapacağınıza karar vereceğinizi varsaymak ve ortaokulu böylece seçip dizayn ettiğinizi varsaymak pek iyi bir varsayım değil. Nereden biliyoruz? How do we know this? Because as Cem Hoca, our vice president responsible of education explained in the morning, somewhere more than 40% of our students change their program declaration after a year or two years at Sabancı University. Which means... When you are being exposed to new ways of thinking and new fields at the age of 18, when you're now mature, you make more informed choices. Our core curriculum is designed to make that possible. Çekirdek müfredatımızın bir hedefi de sizi farklılıklara, farklı düşünce ve disiplin tarzlarına yüksek bir entelektüel düzeyde expose edip daha olgun kararlar vermenizi sağlamaktır. Bir de böyle bir yanı var. Bu da o yüzden bir anahtar kelime. So informed specialization is very, very important for us as a keyword as well. Last keyword is interdisciplinarity or interdisciplinary. Our courses are designed in such a way we make use of multiple disciplines. Example, we have a course, natural sciences. It is a course that combines biology, physics, and chemistry. We have a world history slash major theories of social sciences course, SPS. It combines anthropology, political sciences, economy, and history. We have a law and ethics course. There is philosophy in it. There is ethics in it. We have major works courses, büyük eserler. Major works courses bring together literacy, philosophy, and art together. In other words, the very design that we have is an interdisciplinary design. Now you might be asking, Hocam, why do we need interdisciplinary design? Neden disiplinler arası bir dizayna ihtiyacımız olsun ki? Neden konvansiyonel bir şekilde tek disiplin üzerinden ilerlemiyoruz? Well, first of all, 
at the heart of this kind of a design, you must have a, an interdisciplinary structure. Number two, real life's problems are never disciplinary. Gerçek hayattaki sorunların hiçbiri tek disiplinle çözülecek nitelikte değildir. Çok disiplinli bakış açılarını, farklı uzmanlıkları bir araya getirmeyi gerektirir. Nobody can know all disciplines. That's not what we are saying. Bir kişi her disiplini bilebilir demiyoruz. What we are saying is, we are giving you an interdisciplinary education so that you are open to follow what is happening in other disciplines. You're open to collaboration, ortak çalışma, with other disciplines more than any other disciplinary structure. So that's why interdisciplinary is also a very crucial keyword for us. Now, okay, we've talked about the history of this. I gave you a brief definition of this. Now I need to be more specific. How does it work? Nasıl çalışıyor bu temel geliştirme programı? Tam olarak, lojistik olarak neden bahsediyoruz çekirdek müfredat derken? What exactly is what exactly is the Sabancı uh, model? Well, uh, Sabancı model resembles contemporary uh, American models, and it basically sorry for this. Uh, it basically resembles the contemporary American liberal arts and science college models, and in practice, this model means small classes. How? Sabancı University designs its courses around the premise that we do our best to keep our classrooms as small as possible. Of course, when you are being introduced to first year courses, most of our common courses have very large lecture components. Pek tabii ki küçük sınıflarla öğrenci odaklı bir şeyler yapmak istiyoruz ve bu bütün derslerimizin temelinde ama birinci sınıf derslerinin lecture kısmı, sadece lecture kısmı, büyük gruplar halinde cereyan ediyor. Although our lectures happen in large auditoriums and in today's reality large Zoom webinars, our discussions, recitations or labs, tartışma oturumlarımız, laboratuvarlarımız ya da çalışma saatlerimiz daha küçük gruplar halinde oluyor ki öğrenci başına düşen ilgi öğrencinin belli bir materyale ekspoze olma şansı daha küçük bir ortamda gerçekleşebilsin. That's a very important thing. Small classes. We have special focus on teaching. You know Sabancı University is very strong at research. You want to get even stronger at research. But did you also know that Sabancı University is equally strong at teaching? We have a very unique teaching structure. We invest a lot into teaching. Our faculty members, our instructors from faculties or foundations development program all collaborate together to give you the common core curriculum. And in doing that, we just don't like to give you courses in which there are monologues. This one is a monologue. Ne yazık ki bu bir monologue. Ben konuşuyorum, siz pasif olarak dinliyorsunuz. Fakat gerçek dizaynımızda öğrencileri aktif olarak bir şeyler yapmaya iten, soru soran, deney yaptıran, belli belgelere baktıran, belli argümanları konuşturan. In other words, we create designs which keep you active in Sabancı University's small course design. So our teaching is not any other teaching. Herhangi bir öğretme yapımız yok. We have student-centered active teaching. We have a very high student-professor ratio. Öğrenci başına düşen akademisyen sayısında çok iyiyiz. We have a very good student-professor ratio. Make the best out of it. Lütfen bu güzel özelliği kullanın. Write to us, call to us, come to our office hours. If life was normal, and believe me, it will be hopefully uh, next year or next term maybe, when life is normal, we have our open door policy. When we do things digital, we have our open Zoom policy. A make appointments with us, write to us, use this good professor-student ratio to access to people's knowledge. Higher rates of student residence on campus, that's something that we are very happy about when life is normal. Don't worry, as our president explained this morning, we've developed new initiatives to get in touch with you. But when life goes back to normal, our campus will be uh, open and live again. And that's also something that we're very happy about. And that's something which is essential for a core curriculum. To this end, throughout the 
uh, first 14 weeks when things are digital, in order to make up for the fact that we will not be able to use the campus, we will be organizing get-togethers and initiatives. Different departments will do it. Presence office will do it. Bagen will do it. FTP will do it. We will try to, pardon the expression in your own generation's terminology, we will try to poke you constantly to make connections with us and with the campus because that's essential for a good core curriculum. Specialization by choice and core curriculum, as I've told you, are the other keywords of this system. How do we do this? We have a core set of courses. Nasıl bu söylediğim kelimeleri, anahtar kelimeleri, hedefleri nasıl gerçekleştiriyoruz? Bir ortak ders havuzumuz var. Tamam. Bu ortak ders havuzu tam olarak nasıl çalışıyor? Each course gives you two things. Content, içerik and skills, beceri seti. Whether it's IF100, NS, Mathematics or SPS, we always aim to give you a certain content and a skill set. We have civic involvement, we have links with specialization in courses. Derslerimizin bazılarının konuları toplumsal duyarlılık projelerimizle ilgili. Derslerimizin içinde gelecekte gideceğiniz uzmanlık alanına dair anlamlı ve alakalı şeyler var. Our common courses have things that are put there on purpose to relate to what you're going to do in the future. We have student-centered learning. We have early research engagement as well. İlk senenizden itibaren, starting from your freshman year, you'll be exposed to proj courses. Then you'll start to hear about something called pure projects. And then there's this co-space that we have on campus. We have multiple initiatives to engage you with research. Get your hands dirty. Taşın altına elinizi koyduran çeşitli araştırma inisiyatiflerimiz var. Lisans erken döneminden başlamak itibariyle. Bu da bizim özel yapımızın bir parçası. So, without further ado, let's talk about the drawing that you're seeing on the presentation on the screen right now. How does this core curriculum system work? Bu çekirdek müfredat nasıl çalışıyor? If you're in this presentation, it means that you've successfully passed the English requirement examination, ELAE. And if you've done that, you're done with foundations development year. Hazırlık senesi denen diğer okullarda bizim temel geliştirme yılı dediğimiz İngilizceniz yeterli değilse yaptığınız yıldan eğer bu sunumdaysanız muafsınız demektir. Yani hazırlık senesinden muafsınız. Fakat ortak dersler sadece hazırlık senesi de değil bilakis ortak dersler birinci sınıftan başlıyor. Biz buna Sabancı lügatında ne diyoruz? How do we call this in Sabancı language the first year? Freshman year. In freshman year, you almost exclusively, neredeyse tamamen üniversite dersleri dediğimiz şeyleri alacaksınız, ortak dersleri. In the first year, you will almost exclusively take what we call, what we refer to as the university courses. And then in your sophomore, junior, senior years, you'll be specializing in your programs, you'll be taking electives flexibly, and you will still have two sets of university courses. Hala üçüncü, dördüncü sınıfta büyük eserler dersleri, humanities ve SPS 303 dersi, SPS 303 olmak üzere bir takım ortak dersler almaya devam edeceksiniz. However, majority of the common courses are in freshman. Ortak derslerin çoğu freshman'da. Civic involvement project is also a common course. CIP course is also a common course. You can take it during the foundations development year or during the freshman this year or you can take it thereafter as well. Um, of course, we suggest it for freshman year. Let's move to the next slide. What constitutes the Sabancı model then? At the heart is the university courses. Az önce de bahsettim. Ortak dersler, çekirdek müfredatın bel kemiği. Common courses are the backbone of our core curriculum design. Common courses are called university courses at Sabancı University. All university courses this fall will be delivered digitally. However, because we knew things might not get back to normal very quickly, last spring when we first adopted a digital university course structure, things were new to us. During the summer, we've adopted, we've tried new things. And this fall, all university courses 
readapted themselves to a fully digital semester. I'm very happy to say that. We are learning this together with you, but this time around, we are very well prepared for a digital structure. University courses are intellectual toolboxes. Bir anlamda entelektüel alet çantasıdır her bir üniversite ders. Matematik de olsa, algoritmik düşünce de olsa, dünya tarihi de olsa, e, Türk dili edebiyatı da olsa, tarih dersi de olsa, hepsi birden fazla içerik ve e, beceri setini öğretmeye çalışan bir alet çantası gibidir. Each course is designed as a toolbox, which essentially gives you some theories, methods, skills together with content, which will be useful for you to achieve the goals that I've been talking about. These university courses are at the core of our model's philosophy. Whatever we teach in these courses lay the foundations of our philosophy. The courses aim to relate with each other and specialization areas. Arkadaşlar, bu dersleri ilk aldığınızda Yahu hocam ben bunu niye alıyorum gibi bir his oluşabilir. When you're first taking these courses, you might feel like, hocam why am I taking this? I'm lost. Kayboldum, anlamıyorum. Neden alıyorum bu dersleri? Be patient, all right? With patience and over time you will understand that each course has something that is significant for an informed choice, for level benchmarking, or for your future area of specialization. Or just to make you understand the world around you better or teach you critical thinking. So each course is designed to relate with each other in some way. Yani bir şekilde NS'teki bir konuyla SPS'teki bir konu iki farklı ders ilişkili olacak. Some way a topic in SPS and NS will be related, like global warming for instance. So these courses relate to each other and your field of specialization as well. Courses also are usually under constant update. Every semester we love to play around with certain topics and assignments. This year was no exception. We've adopted the digital system and made some little changes in our courses because the world around us is teaching. Our disciplines are being updated and there are new ways, state of the art ways of teaching to introduce you the particular content that we would like to introduce. The courses finally are designed to promote interdisciplinary thinking. Dear students, sevgili öğrenciler, bu slide'dan şu muhakkak aklınızda kalsın. All university courses are designed for all freshman courses, freshman students. Her ortak üniversite dersimiz, bütün öğrenciler ve onların farklı profilleri düşünülerek dizayn edildi. Bu derslerden çok şey öğreneceksiniz. Mezun olduğunuzda kıymetini daha çok anlayacaksınız. Anketler bize bunu gösteriyor. Dolayısıyla derslere Özellikle şu dijital ortamda adapte olmak zor gelebilir. Lütfen sabırlı olun. Çok eğlenceli, ufuk açıcı bir müfredat sizi bekliyor. Dear student, when you are first exposed to these courses, you might feel lost. But we know based on our alumni feedback and the uh, studies that we do on the perception of core curriculum uh, coming from our graduates, we know that you get the value of this kind of an approach as you move forward in your undergraduate education. The first year is a little bit challenging. It will be extra challenging because of the digital semester, but be patient. There's a very interesting content being prepared for you and it's going to widen your intellectual horizons. Let's move to the next slide. What exactly are the university courses? Tamam, peki anladık. Sistemi anladınız, tanımı anladınız, tarihi arka planı anladınız. You understand the historic background, the definition, the aims, the goals, the keywords. What exactly are the university courses? Here you see posters of our university courses that are designed to encourage you for the content. İçerik konusunda sizi heyecanlandırmak için hazırladığımız posterler üzerinden derslerimize bakalım. TLL courses 101-102. TLL 101 ve 102. Turkish language and literature courses mandatory to all university students in uh, Turkey. Türkiye'deki bütün üniversite öğrencilerine zorunludur. However, we make it a part of our core curriculum. We are not doing it as a regular Turkish course. Tipik bir Türk dili edebiyatı dersi değil bu. Tarih dersimizle bir miktar senkronizasyonu olan, size analitik düşünme ve yazmayı öğreten, edebiyata ve edebiyat tarih ilişkisine eşsiz bir şekilde baktıracak 
müthiş ve heyecanlı bir dersten bahsediyoruz. We're talking about a uniquely designed Turkish language and literature course. For our international students, there will be an international version of this. It is designed to encourage critical thinking, critical reading, critical writing, whilst using Turkish literature and its connections with history as a background. Then we have SPS 101, 102, uh, the one with the blue poster and the train and the stock exchange. SPS 101, 102 is the course that I'm a part as well, uh, together with a large group of lecturers and faculty members we teach it. It is basically world history slash major theories of humanities social sciences. It is the course that will make you help how to write academically, think critically, and it will of all things, it will help you understand the human experience, the world around us. Uh, I hope you are as excited about the course as I would be. Proj 201 is our unique introduction to project making, project writing course. It is the first course to introduce you to the world of research and research structuring. We have humanities courses, Hume coded courses, major works courses, we call them, these specialize in three areas, art, literature, and philosophy. Students only take it when they complete the first year courses, so that's a sophomore thing to do next year. We have the HIST 191192. Again, it's a mandatory course. Yine Türkiye'de bütün üniversitelerde zorunlu olan bir ders bu. Fakat biz bunu eşsiz bir şekilde işliyoruz. We design this as the modernization history of Ottoman Empire and Republic of Turkey, and there's partial relevance and synchronization with other courses, predominantly TLL. And the topics also somehow overlap with um, SPS because we look at modernization in SPS as well. So it's a wonderful, critical new way of looking at the history, our history, if you will, as the citizens of Turkey. We have NS courses, natural sciences courses, in any other university, in Columbia University, Harvard or Leiden, this would have been called Frontiers of Science. Bilimin önde giden olayları, teorileri, temellerini anlatan bir e, ortak derstir. Ortak bilim dersidir bu tipik her üniversitede. Bizde de var. Natural Sciences 101 and 102. It's a wonderful course that discusses biology, uh, physics, chemistry, and even math in many ways by not directly talking about these disciplines, but approaching to the use of these disciplines in complex problems like antibacterial resistance, global warming, and so on and so forth. So there are teams, there are uh, you know, bubbles of issues that are approached with the help of multiple disciplines. So it's a great way to introduce sciences to a wide range of student group. We have, of course, mathematics, calculus predominantly, we have IF100, algorithmic thinking course, which is something that we're very proud of. IF100, our algorithmic thinking course, is the first of its kind in Turkey, in higher education. It basically is a course that helps all students, political science, computer science, school of management, industrial engineering, doesn't matter. It teaches all students how to talk with computers in a way to convert real life problems into a language that a computer can help you to solve those problems. So algorithmic language, algorithmic thinking to make life's problems understandable and solvable by a computer. That's a very, very basic level introduction to coding and algorithmic thinking. A wonderful course. We have SPS 303, another common course, which usually students take towards the end of their undergraduate year, third year or fourth year, uh, law and ethics course. We have AL 102, academic literacies, academic okuryazarlık, yüzüki. It is a course to emphasize the importance of English and academic writing cultures. Let me give you a small note. You might have passed the ELAE, but learning English never happens overnight. We take English very seriously and we believe that the more you're exposed to English in different courses, the better your English will be. It's a process that lasts four years. It doesn't happen overnight. This is the geçmiş olabilirsiniz. Akademik İngilizceyi ve akademik okuryazarlığı öğrenmek bir derste, bir seneyle olacak bir şey değil. Dört yıl boyunca İngilizce eğitim yapmamızın temelinde bu var. Sizi sürekli bu dilin uluslararası akademik kullanımına 
Ekspoze ettikçe dilinizin geliştiğini gözlemliyoruz. O yüzden de bu tarz özel dersler dizaynda ediyoruz arada. Finally we have CIP 101, our civic involvement course. Um, all of these courses will be digital. All of these courses, the same co uh, courses that you've seen uh, in the previous slide are now listed in names. All of them are digital. All but one have synchronous and asynchronous components. So your lectures will be there live and on record for you throughout the semester, throughout the fall uh, term. Moment of truth. This is important. Şimdi dürüst bir şey söylemek istediğim bir ana geldik. This cohort, bu sene giren öğrenciler, this cohort, you guys, you ladies and gentlemen, you're a special cohort. This cohort will experience the most challenging, innovative and unique freshman curriculum in the history of our institution. In the past 20 years, we have never done a fully digital semester. So it will be challenging. Let's be honest. Evet biraz zor olacak, dürüst olalım. But we shall persevere. Ve bunun üstesinden geleceğiz. Çünkü hem çok iyi hazırlık yaptık, hem çok motiveyiz, hem de sizin de bizi seçmenizden çok motive olduğunuzu ve bize güvendiğini biliyoruz. Güvendiğinizi biliyoruz. We shall persevere. Let's be honest. This will be challenging, but it will be innovative and it will be unique. Bir anlamda eşsiz olacak. Ve inovatif olacak. Beraber geliştireceğimiz, beraber sizden gelen geri bildirimlerle güçlendireceğimiz bir süreç olacak. İletişim kanallarını hep açık tuttuğumuz bir süreç olacak. Lately I've read an article which was published in a well-respected journal. Uh, in the Atlantic in June. I've read an article from a very well-known scholar, Zeynep Tüfekçi. And... She used two keywords there, which I would like to share you as a part of my moment of truth speech. Manifest and latent functions of higher education. Açık ve örtülü fonksiyonları yüksek öğrenimin. What does that mean? Manifest function, visible function is education, research, teaching. That is easier to deliver to you via Zoom or YouTube. Eğitim yani içerik, bilgiyi aktarmak görece kolay olabilir dijital olarak. Bu fonksiyonunda çok iyi olabiliriz. But as we see in Zeynep Tüfekçi's article which I uh, strongly suggest, there are some latent functions as well. Tam görünmeyen, ilk bakışta göze çarpmayan fonksiyonları da vardır üniversitenin ve yüksek öğrenimin. Kampüs hayatı, çevre, network, arkadaşlar, bir araya gelmek, insani temas, ortak alanı kullanmak. Networking, coming together, meeting new people, using new space, having a room of, or, of your own, kendine ait özgür bir oda olmak, ana baba evinden çıkmak. Those are also the functions of higher education. This fall term, it will be harder to do that. But don't worry, we know it and we are honest about it. Bunu biliyoruz, bunun zor olduğunu biliyoruz, o yüzden zihnimiz hep çözüm üretmeye gidiyor. Bunu ne yaparız da çözeriz diye inisiyatifler geliştirmeye çalışıyoruz. So let's be honest about it. Let's embrace this and let's deal with this all together with the new cohort of 2020. 2020'nin üniversitesinde öğrencilerimiz daha önceki 20 yılda yaşamadığımız bir şekilde ortak bir mücadelenin üstesinden gelmemize neden olacaklar beraberce inşallah. Finally, how the digital freshman works. I know I have very little time left. I'll be quick. This is how it's going to work. This is my suggestion to you. Bu benim size tavsiyeler kısmım, sunumun sonunda. Digital freshman means online content delivery. Size online içerik yollayabiliyoruz. Hayatın bize dayattığı bu koşullarda. We can only send you online content delivery. How are we going to do it? Synchronously, asynchronously. Eş zamanlı ve kayıttan olmak üzere iki şekilde yapıyoruz. Lütfen bizim size eş zamanlı ders içeriği yolladığımız anların tamamını o akıllı telefonlarınızdaki o akıllı e, takvimlerinize işleyin, alarmlarınızı şimdiden kurun. Please register our synchronous lectures, discussion sessions, recitations and labs in your smartphone, smart calendar. Put some alarms on it. Don't miss our uh, synchronous con uh, content. That is going to create self-discipline for you. Uh, no procrastination, please. 
Erteleme ve öteleme yapmayın lütfen. Erteleme ve öteleme online bir sistemde çok kötü bir fikir. Online olarak sizi değerlendiriyor olacağız. There will be online assessment. I'm wrapping up. Online assessment is harder to do than it sounds. Uh, we are going to have these method mechanisms that we developed to check your signatures, mechanisms that we are checking your academic integrity and objections. We don't like surveillance. Ya biz izlemeyi sevmeyiz üniversitede. Ama iyi ve adaletli bir notlandırma ve performans değerlendirmesi için tabii ki de e, bunları yapmamız gerekiyor. We must surveil to a certain extent to be able to deliver just grading. But in the end, you don't like injustice. Adaletsizlik sizin de hoşunuza gitmiyor. Ve aslında adaletli bir dijital notlandırmanın garantisi sizsiniz. You are the guarantee. Your consent. Sizin rızanız, burada olma isteğiniz ve erdeminiz ve heyecanınız esas garantidir. Rektör hocamız da söyledi. Our president told you in the morning. You are now grown-ups. It is your own responsibility for your own good to be your own guarantee. A diploma is a piece of paper. Diploma bir kağıt parçasıdır. Unless we make it a diploma. Biz onun altındaki değeri yaratıp mezunlar olarak bunu gerçek hayata yansıtacaksak ancak diplomanın değeri olur. Diploma only has a value in real life when it works. For it to work, our assessment methods have to work as well. We have online office hours, online events. These are great ways to keep you engaged. Put your events to the calendars. Have a weekly rhythm. Find the focus to spot. Düzenli olarak dersleri dinleyeceğiniz bir mekan, bir fiziksel mekan ayarlayın. Do physical exercises and routines. Vücutlarımız oturmak için biyolojik olarak evrimleşmedi. Egzersiz yapın. Cheer up, keep calm, utilize your opportunity. Modunuzu düşürmeyin. Kendinizi motive edici şeyler bulun. Muhteşem bir fırsatınız var. Kendinizi geliştireceğiniz 4 yıl. Bunun ilk 6 ayı zor olabilir. Moralinizi düşürmeyin. Stay connected and aware. Bizimle bağınızı koparmayın. Bizimle temasınızı koparmayın. Stay connected and aware. We shall persevere. We'll make the best out of this. So, we welcome you. See you next week. Foundations Development Program. Prepared new social media accounts. And a Spotify welcome to freshman year playing list for you to motivate you before we start last uh, next week. So please follow us on social media as well. Um, it was great to uh, have you with us, albeit digitally. I'll try to entertain maybe one question if I have time. So uh, I'll be looking at my moderator to see if there are any questions. Do we have any questions? All right, the moderator will let me know. Um, there's a question about the literature course, and the question is, will it be in English? Turkish language and literature, I presume. Turkish language and literature course runs in two different tracks. The course must be delivered in Turkish for Turkish citizens, and it will be delivered in English for our international students. So for our Turkish students, the only option is Turkish. For our international students, the only option is English. And this is not a choice that we have, by the way. This is by regulation coming from the Higher Education Council of Turkey. Uh, another question, I think. Another question is about the packages. Some of us haven't received it yet. Is it because we are outside of Istanbul? Uh, probably the packages were uh, sent to the post office Last Friday, we're tracking all of the packages. We have reserved packages at our office just in case something wrong happens. I think you're going to get them before the 5th of October. Haftaya başlamadan önce elinizde olmalı. Bu hafta içinde gelmeli İstanbul dışına da. Yedek paketlerimiz de var. Dolayısıyla paketsiz kalmamanız için her şeyi yaptık. Bizimle kontağa geçebilirsiniz okul başladığında ulaşmamızsa. Another question if we have time. Where and when are we gonna get our course materials from? Um, that's a great question. There is a system called Su Course Plus. There's an online platform where all of our courses have portals. Go to that online system. Student Resources is going to inform you about those systems. A each course will have its course material uploaded to that system. Or in the rare case, Nadir de olsa, in rare case, if a course wants you to buy a book or get a book, 
it is going to tell you how to do it. Materyaller online, online platformumuza yüklü ve sizi bekliyorlar zaten şu an. Sisteme girdiğinizde bunların hepsine ulaşabileceksiniz. Nadir de olsa bir kitabın alınması gerekiyorsa bunun bilgisi de dersler başlamadan dijital olarak size ulaşacak. What are the other lessons that we can register on freshman year? Um, in the freshman year, you are only given one course loads equivalent as an extra course and that usually happens in the second semester. In other words, in freshman, you are already pre-registered to our common courses. There'll only be the chance to take one additional course and you can take it based on uh, prerequisites of the course, time conflict and etc. As long as your schedule allows it, as long as the prerequisite ön koşullar allows it, towards the end of freshman you can take an additional course. Right now, everybody is registered to the same courses, to the, to the core curriculum. Do Proj 1201 and the pure program contradict with each other? Can we allocate time to both? Uh, they don't. You can allocate time to both. They are not contradictory, they are complementary. Birbirlerini tamamlıyorlar, çakışmıyorlar. Proje 201 herkes için ortak bir ders. It's a common course for everyone. Um, you first take it. Pure is a voluntary initiative. Gönüllü bir inisiyatif. You either sponsor a project together with your uh, professors or your professors sponsor a project and you enroll to that project in Pure. That happens voluntarily. There's no conflict between the two. Can we take any other classes besides these mandatory ones in our freshman year? I already answered that question. Uh, do we have to register for the courses? Um, the package is going to tell you a little bit about that, but the easy answer is no. Um, freshman year uh, has this registration system in which you are automatically registered, but please, please contact student resources for most up-to-date information about it. New freshmen, not the ones coming from foundations development, not the irregular ones, the new freshmen who are starting this year, they are automatically enrolled. If you have any, any more questions about that, you should contact SR, Student Resources. Can I take an extra language course like German? Yes, you can, but not during the freshman, unless it is that one course towards the end of freshman. We encourage taking of different language courses, uh, but we Encourage that after the first year. Why? Very simple. First year, we have the common courses. They'll be tough. They'll be challenging. It's your first year in university, university year. We first encourage you to complete the first year in its integrity and then take language courses in sophomore, junior, freshman, uh, sophomore, junior, and senior. Okay, we ran out of questions. Thank you. Um, again, uh, I wish you all a very nice semester. We will be here for you. We will try to establish connections with you. Cheer up, keep calm, motivate yourself. We'll see you next week at the courses. Thank you.